Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of Hacker Rank Tutorial Solution Series by Porter Zilli. Uh, in this particular series, we are going to solve a lot of Hacker Rank problems, specifically for C programming language. And uh, let's see how it goes, right? So today we are starting with our first question, which is known as uh, the Hello World program, right? So Hello World is generally the first program which every developer, every programmer starts, right? So it is one of the most basic and most easiest solution of hacker rank but today what we are going to learn is how to solve these kinds of problems right so if you are new to i would say competitive programming if you are new to hacker rank so in this video you should learn how to solve uh, any hacker rank problem right so it is not about this question it is also about how to solve the problem okay so let's get started so i'll uh, as you can see on my screen over here, there are different things which are written, right? So what I'll do is I'll explain what is the meaning of each and everything, right? So first of all, you see that there is written uh, a thing called objective, right? Now, objective is the thing which you should learn, uh, which you should read with very care and very uh, attention, right? Because over here, the story of the problem is given. What is given? Story of the problem, right? Story of the problem means what you need to solve, right? So let's just say when you used to give board exams, right? Uh, in, in mathematics and physics and chemistry, there were a lot of questions which were story based. So they will give you some kind of uh, uh, scenarios and based on that scenario, you need to solve the questions, right? So in the programming uh, world also, specifically in competitive programming, um, you will get objective in the form of story only, right? So let's just start with reading the story. What is written over here is that in this challenge, we'll learn some basic concepts of C that will get you started with the language. You will need to use the same syntax to read input and write output in many C challenges. As you work through these problems, review the code stubs to learn about reading from STDIN and writing to STDI, STD out. Right? So there are two things. There is standard input and then there is standard output. So what we need to do is we need to take a standard input, right? And then generate a standard output. Now, what is the task? This challenge requires you to print hello world. What we need to do is we just need to print hello world, nothing else on a single line and then print the already provided input string to STD out. So there would be two things. One, we need to print hello world specifically like this, right? And whatever is in the next uh, variable, right? Which is the input. We'll need to print that also. So over here, you can see that, for example, if S is life is beautiful. So what you need to do is, first of all, you will print hello world and then you will print life is beautiful. Now, the main thing which you need to give attention to is that you need to write exactly same uh, characters, right? So let's just say if H is in capital letters, E is in small letter, L, L, O is also in small letter, then there is a space, then world, the W of world is in capital letters. So each and everything would be very perfectly written, right? As it is, then only it will give us a success message, right? So let's start on this. So over here, there is already a character uh, S equals S100, which is already given, right? What I need to do is, uh, I just need to like this scan that would uh, also take my input, which would be the string. Now what I need to do is I need to just print F and inside printer, first of all, I'll print hello world. What I'll print? Hello world. Now I told you that you need to give details, right? So hello world, I have written as it is, how it is given it over here, right? I have added as exclamation marks. I have added a comma, everything I have added. And then I'll add a uh, semicolon. After that, I need to print S, right? So instead of everything, I'll just write S and at the end, return zero is already written. Right. Now, how can you write your uh, run this code, right? So to run this code, you just need to click over here, run code. This is the button. And once we click S, so you see that the error is coming, right? Because I have in general generated this error because I wanted to show you how you need to print the output. So over here, you see my output is this hello world colon welcome to C programming while the expected output is hello world in a one in a single line and then welcome to C programming in the next line, right? So what I'll do is over here, I'll come and I'll write a 
slash n also right so that what happens once i print the hello world there would be a line given also there would be a new line also generated so i'll just run the code okay now you see everything is done so once this is done you just need to submit it all right so this was our first question hello world by c programming keep checking out the other solutions in the playlist also i am continuously making a lot of solutions thank you so much and please do subscribe to coders elite